Hello, Carter. Do you just want to start off by giving us a super brief sentence or two on why we are speaking with you today? We're really excited. We just announced that we dosed our first patient in our hepatitis B trial. So the hepatitis B trial is for a product called Giga2339. Um, this is a mixture of thousands of different antibodies and made recombinantly. They're human antibodies all targeted towards the hepatitis B surface antigen. And it really represents a new way to treat the disease. And can you elaborate a little bit more on how this Giga2339 contains a thousand antibodies for HPV and how that this diversity enhances the drug's ability to target HBV and offer more of a functional cure? Yeah. So um, we've talked a little bit about it in, in previous interviews. We have a, a platform that's very unique, and it allows us to basically take the best human immune systems and grab the genetic components of those immune systems and then recombinantly reproduce those immune, immune systems and also select the antibodies that are directed towards the virus or, or viral target that we're interested in. Again, this is a very unique way to treat disease. Nobody's ever kind of done this before. So that allows us to kind of create this, this very diverse product that targets the, the hepatitis B virus. And that's what we put into the clinical trial. So ask a great question. It really points to the differentiation of this product. The fact that we have thousands of different antibodies against hepatitis B antigens allow us to target multiple epitopes of the, of the hepatitis B virus and coat all surface of the virus and viral particles. By coating the surface, it allows for a really efficient immune response to the virus to clear the viral particles. The other thing that I want to point out that having thousands of different antibodies against the, the different epitopes of hepatitis B allows us to do is it allows us to hit all genotypes of the virus. So you don't miss any patients with different, with diverse genotypes. And it also allows us to hit any escape mutations that the patient might have, or that might arise during treatment of the patient. So we're really hopeful that this is going to, to lead to a very differentiated outcome for these hepatitis B patients. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know that the phase one trials are mainly focused on safety and efficacy. Can you walk us through? So you dosed your patient. What are you kind of watching over these next couple of weeks? We're definitely interested in looking at what dose is, is safe and tolerable for the different patients, but many safety and tolerability studies are done in healthy patients. And, and you know, in contrast, this particular phase one study is being done in individuals with chronic HPV. So what that's going to allow us to do is to find a safe dose that also optimally depletes the surface antigen in these patients. And these particular patients in our study are gonna have had previous therapy, nucleoside analog therapy. So what that will allow us to do, finding that dose that optimally depletes the antigen, will move into the next phase, uh, phase two clinical trials, where we'll expand patient populations um, at that dose and, and be able to really look at kind of the efficacy of the drug in a statistically significant way. Yeah. And just curious, have any of these patients, you say that they have already been infected with um, hepatitis B, have they taken other drugs in the past? Have they shown resistance to these drugs? Are, are those things that kind of play a factor in how you dose them? There is no kind of cure to hepatitis B. The, the hope is to control the virus for as long as possible. And, and the current drug people take are these nucleoside analogs. And, and so you will, to, to come on to the, the trial, you will have taken those nucleoside analogs before um, and, and not seen a cure. Um, and so we're going to try to treat those patients and see a differentiated outcome. Mm -hmm. I wanted to highlight the fact that, um, you know, this platform allows us to create these really diverse therapies. Um, it's the only platform that can do it, um, that shows kind of manufacturing consistency, mm -hmm. um, scale to the point where we can really treat as many patients as is needed. And in, in HPV, there's kind of this second level effect that we have a hypothesis around, which is if you actually downregulate the hepatitis B surface antigen, which has been shown to suppress the immune system, 
what you might be able to do after clearing the virus and viral particles is allow that immune system to reactivate. And that might lead to kind of this functional cure that we've talked about before. So I, I think that this kind of virtuous cycle of efficiently depleting hepatitis B virus, reactivating the immune system, and then the immune system also helping to deplete the virus is a really interesting thing that that previously hasn't we haven't been able to be hasn't been able to be seen, but with this really potent drug, um, we're going to be keeping an eye out for that in our clinical.